Hey, my name is Jesus Castillo and in this video you're going to learn how to use attribute accessors in Ruby. Before I explain exactly what an attribute accessor is, let me show you why we need them. Right here I have a book class and it has two instance variables. We know that these are instance variables because they have the add symbol in front of them, right? And here I have a book object I created from this class. And we can take a look and we can see right there is our object. Now what if we want to access the title right here? We want to print the book title. How can we do that? Well, we can try to do book title like that. And let's see what happens. What happens is that we get this you now method error, undefined method title for book. So this book is our book object and undefined method title is this method we're trying to call to print the title, right? So why is it undefined? Because we have no method with the name title. We only have the initialize method, right? So one thing we can do is actually define it. We can define title like that. And then what happens? We get nil. Why? Because it's empty. An empty method returns nil by default. So what we need to do is to return the value we want, which is the value of the instance variable title. And now we get the output we want. We get Ruby Deep Dive, which is the title of the book. Can do the same for the author name. We like this author. Of course, there is no author method, but we can define it. Author and out author and there we go that is the author name and that's me now this works but notice that we have to write these methods that are very short and they're taking space and they're like boilerplate kind of code right it's extra code that's not necessary to write if there is a better way to do this What's the better way? Well, that's the topic of this video. The better way is to use attribute accessors. So now if I delete these two methods and I add uh, an accessor, in this case I'm going to write a reader accessor, an attribute reader. And what do I put in here? In, put, I, in here I put the name of the instance variables in the form of a symbol. This is very important. They have the name of the variable, as you can see. But instead of being like this, they are like this. This is like it has to be for this to work. Now, if I try to run this same code, it's still working. But notice that we delete the methods. Why? because what this is doing is creating these methods for you. That's the only thing that's going on in here. And why do we need to create these methods at all? Because the class doesn't expose instance variables to that side. They are like private, right? And when you create a method to access them, either by writing the method directly or using an attribute reader, that's like opening a window into the object. So you can get access to these attributes, to these instance variables. That's why we use attribute accessors. And of course, there is other types of attribute accessors besides attribute reader. We also have the attribute writer. Let me show you how that works. 
So that you write there, what it does is this, the same thing, but it gives you methods for changing the values. Not only reading them for, but actually changing them. Let me show you what I mean. I might want to change the title to title just Ruby, for example. And now the title has changed. The key here is that it is actually a method. Title equals is a method, right? So it looks like this. It's like title equals and then whatever value and this was going on. This the attribute writer. This is exactly what's happening when you use an attribute writer. But when you use an attribute writer, you can't read at the same time. So if I try to read like that, I get again the undefined method title. So what you need in this case, if you want both writing and reading, then you need the more general attribute accessor. So this does both, it creates both the writing and reading. So as I'm going to show you, demonstrate right now. There it goes. I can change the value, then print the value, and we can see it has changed. So that's the attribute accessor. So we have attribute accessor, attribute writer, and attribute reader. So that's attribute accessors for you, and how they work, and why do we need them. Hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give me a like, so I know that you like it. And if you want to keep learning, go to my website, rubyguides.com, where you will find a lot of free tutorials to help you keep improving your Ruby skills. Also, subscribe to the channel and watch my other videos, and that will help you a lot keep improving and keep making progress. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.